Jesus Christ. They actually never cease to amaze me, this club. And I know my club. And I'm telling you now. We've ballsed it up. This is for the ones who you can. I'm freaking out a little bit. Because I was just beginning to give you credit. Just when I'd actually started believing, the hardest part was done. Said. 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 Why have you got your hand up? You've, pa <laughs> You've passed it to him. You've actually got an assist. You've gone and showed us up. Big time. Seriously though, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad was that? Were there actually any good performances from anyone? Any? Do you know what? Is it a penalty on Lacazette? Well, of course it's a fucking penalty if he didn't get the ball yeah? and he took him clean out. I've got people in my, my fucking mentions going, it's not his fault he followed through. What? what are you talking about? It's a penalty. Listen, it's fucking April yeah, and he's wearing gloves. Man up for cock. What's going on? We are two very different teams. One is absolutely world class, exceptional, incredibly difficult to beat at the fortress that has become the Emirates. It's a different story when we're away from home. We are completely different entity, not a clue, absolute shambles, full of comedy. It's laughable. I never thought I'd be saying this. Genuinely, I think our best player was Mustafi. And if our fucking best player on the day is Mustafi, we have a... Having lost today, four of our last six Premier League games are away from home. They include Watford, Leicester, Wolves, and Burnley. I'm not sure if that's the correct order, but I'm sure that those are the sides that we face. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit worried. We should be hearing those names and thinking, yes, lads, we can get this in the bag. It's a job we can get. This is fucking Arsenal we're talking about. Let's be realistic. This is comedy club to football. We can't be trusted. We actually can't be trusted to leave the house. If the league table was each club's last 10 away games, Arsenal would be 14th. So please forgive me for freaking out. But I am very worried now. I'm hearing stat nerds constantly in my ear. Stat nerds, stats, stats, stats. But what I'm seeing is even more worrying, let's be honest. I really don't care whether you think Emery is performing miracles right now or an absolute fraud or whether you think the squad is overperforming or going to get its come up. I don't give a shit about any of that, excuse my French. What I care about is getting Champions League football. And I'm telling you, from a footballing perspective, never mind me and I being an Arsenal fan, from someone who watches enough football to know what's going on, we are living perilously close to fucking this up. They said, luckily, we've got two chances, at the, two throws at the dice. You've got Europa League and Premier League. That could end up being the worst thing to happen to this football club. You're giving yourself an extra five strenuous, ridiculously tough games in places around fucking Europe with injuries, suspensions, and these fucking shocking team sheets to deal with as well. We're making it very hard for ourselves. You've got one fucking job, right? Get in the Champions League. No one gives a shit about anything else. Season off, have a freebie, whatever. We'll go again. Adidas, I need Champions League football players coming to this club, right? Wearing those fucking shiny kits. I don't want to see Denis Suarez being painted out as our new guy. Or that we're spending big bucks on Denis Suarez. Look at the ambition and fuck off. Yeah, what is this? What's the point of this guy? Ex please explain to me. We've got six games left. He's fucking on a clock. You've got five hundred and forty fucking minutes to get your ass in gear. Where are you? Absolutely fucking pointless. What is the point? Because he's got a mate that you can talk Spanish to. What's the what's what's going on? Chelsea are a fucking shambles, and they've got a new manager that they don't want. Manchester United have just sacked their manager. They've got a new one. All right. A fucking shambles. We had an 11-point lead on these guys, right? Somehow we've managed to fucking bottle that. Tottenham, they got one point in six games. How have we fucking managed to bottle that? In the space of three days, we managed to bottle that. I mean, listen, the team sheet, let's start there. Aaron Ramsey, benched. We'll, we'll get on to the other possibility of why he's done that, right? But that's great. Aubameyang, benched. Why? Top, top score of the club, right? Fastest out ball in the squad. So when we're away from home and we're being pressed, we've got an out ball. Where's the out ball? Who is it? Great stuff. Five in the back. Did he say protagonist? 
I'm confused. He's actually trying to do what I do. I'm a football manager. I put all my best players on leave, right? And I play the kids and the bums who don't get any fucking game time against Rochdale in the League Cup. Yeah? And obviously, we lose. Banter. Yeah? That's what we do. Only club in the league not to keep a clean sheet away from home. What have you been doing? <laughs> Seriously. They lasted 10 minutes before they conceded to a man who I'd actually forgotten was a footballer. Michael Keane injured in the warm-up and in steps Jagielka. I mean, we fucking love making people relevant again, don't we? Is your club currently struggling? Striker hasn't scored for a year. Drifting into mid-table obscurity? We've got the fucking answer. Arsenal, ready to help you back on your feet. Let's go through them. Uh, Bert Leno, uh, pl he played all right, I guess. People are massively overreacting when he's saving shit that's going straight at him. You know, if you put a man in between the sticks and they kick it at him, he's going to stop it. Oh, I mean, can't even be helped. Uh, this is the other thing as well. Blaming Ozil. Oh, my God. Are you fucking retarded? All right? You got no one to bring the ball forward. No one. So where's Ozil going? He's drifting back into DM where Xhaka would be. He's playing that role. Use your fucking brains or don't watch this sport. I'm sorry. You, 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 you guys, I'm sorry. You're spending too much time listening to fucking cannon fodder, right? You need educating. There's coaches out here. They're all online. They will teach you what's going on with the shapes of the game, right? This is embarrassing. I want to play this fucking 19-year-old. Great. Play the 19-year-old, yeah? Play him. Great. But expect us to fucking lose. You don't have to be a fucking genius to work it out. He's not ready. Why are you force feeding it? I thought we confirmed Mustafi is the worst crosser of the ball in Premier League history. But oh no! Fucking Kolasinac wants to get in on the act as well. You're a tank, bro. If you smash it, it's going to fuck off over there. What the f... I mean, wow. maitland Niles didn't have a great game, did he? Um, Everton, on the other hand, I thought they were superb. Had a game plan. Stuck to it, grounded out the win. Uh, Calvert Lewin played very well. It gave our defenders a nightmare, and uh, Bernard was great as well. Uh, Lucas Dini was good. Zuma I thought was fantastic, and Idrissa Gay is second only, I guess, to Kante in terms of defensive midfielders in the Premier League. Um, Gomez looks like he's actually transformed his career, so fair play to him. And um, Seamus Coleman absolutely bodying. Iwobi, who when he did come on, was probably Arsenal's best player. In 15 minutes, I think he did more than anyone else in the rest of the whole game or the whole game combined. And Socrates got booked. He can't play like himself, so he's playing within himself. And I actually thought Mustafi was the better of the defenders today. Monreal had an absolute shocker. Funny stuff, though, wasn't it? It was funny. I mean, the whole thing, being an Arsenal fan, it is funny. You've got to laugh. You've got Ozil doing, what's he doing? Throwing coats. Ozil, Mesut, throwing coats. Yeah. We're throwing coats at the managers. What are we doing here? Is this, what is, what's going on in his head? Sorry. What does that, uh, <laughs> it's like a magic coat. You throw it over him and the problem disappears. I'm very confused about what's going on here. Cavalier stuff. But I tell you what wasn't fucking cavalier. It's the work rate of Theo Walcott. Yeah, running around like a blue ass fly when he come on, wasn't he? Running rings around our players. Walcott. Mad. Actually mad. Because he really wanted to win that. Good on you, Theo, mate. Well done. Uh, Richardson. Twinkle toes. He's doing it to a lot of people though, so it's not like it's uh, you know, just Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal were ready and willing to bend over backwards just to open up that. Listen, hmm. so um, all in all, uh, it wasn't a great day, if I'm honest. All jokes aside, we should be good, shouldn't we, really? We should be good, shouldn't we? I mean, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, do you think that we are actually going to get top four? Am I, you know, am I losing my call for no reason at all? Who knows? But I'm going to have a cookie. Six games to go. Buck up your fucking ideas. We want Champions League football, you clowns.